on the job loss claim. I feel like I do this every week now, but there's a new study from Vanguard where they analyze job growth and wage growth in occupations that are highly exposed to AI automation versus all occupations. And they find that both job growth and wage growth is higher, not lower, in the occupations that are exposed to AI. So if you look at job growth in occupations exposed to AI, it's 1.7% compared to 0.8% for other. For wage growth, it's 3.8% versus 0.7% for other. So what you see here is something, maybe it's counterintuitive, but it makes sense to me, which is as you make workers more productive, the value of their labor increases, not decreases, and they end up getting paid more and you want to hire more of them. This follows on the heels of that study from Yale Budget Lab, which I talked about in a previous show, that it said there's no discernible disruption to the job market based on 33 months of data after the launch of ChatGPT. Now, I understand that you can make predictions as to the future that this state's going to change, that there will be AI job loss. But what I'm saying is that if you look at the data so far, there is no AI job loss, quite the opposite. It's job growth and job gains.